cracked and chipped teeth, a knocked out tooth, broken fillings, toothaches. Mouth pain can bring down even the strongest of people. Left untreated, common minor issues with teeth can result in infection, abscess, or it can lead to fevers or even death. When the world is calm, you may make an emergency visit to your local dentist. But what can you do if there is no dentist available? What can you do if you're miles from emergency dental care or in the aftermath of a catastrophic disaster where emergency dental care may never come back online? We often don't think of this overlooked prep and most preppers don't even have a basic emergency dental care kit in their supplies. We have first aid kits, but an emergency dental kit is just as essential. It is one of the least expensive preps you could add to your prepping supplies. If you have ever had a major dental emergency, you can reflect on this and understand how not having an emergency dental kit could lay you out, decrease your odds of survival, and even result in death. Even a tiny kit can service several people. From infection to starvation to death, something as minor as a toothache can take you or the ones you love completely out of the picture in the aftermath of a disaster. I did a video covering a survival dental kit with dental tools I'll recommend that you check out and I'll post a link in the cards up above. Now, this video will cover a more basic kit that you can put together fairly easily and will be an invaluable resource. This video will examine the realities of post-disaster oral care, the basics of what you should have in your emergency kit, and how to use natural remedies. After a disaster, you will want to find a dentist for most dental emergency as soon as possible. Hopefully, if that isn't a possibility, what I discuss in this video will carry you through. So let's take a look. Please consider subscribing to our newsletter by clicking on the link in the description and comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe and click the like button to help the channel grow. Common Dental Problems The stress and trauma of a disaster can undoubtedly lead to injuries to the oral cavity. Still, even in the most tranquil times, something seemingly innocuous as losing a filling could lead to more extensive dental problems. An infection in your mouth can, at the least, reduce or eliminate your ability to eat the nutrients you need to survive, and at worst can lead to infection, fever symptoms, even death. So much of the post-tragedy dental care has to focus on both preventative care and relieving pain, reducing inflammation, and eliminating infections before they can take too deep a root. These are the common dental problems and how to treat them. After we run through these, we'll get into the specifics of items you should have on hand to treat some of these potential tooth problems you may encounter. Loss of filling or a crown. A filling is used to replace the decayed substance of a tooth. It repairs small amounts of damage. A crown or cap is larger and is typically used if a tooth is chipped or broken. Losing either exposes sensitive and vulnerable areas of the previously repaired tooth. Losing dental work is easy to do and your problems can exponentially grow. There are several over-the-counter remedies to treat the loss of a filling or crown, but most only address the pain. If there is no possibility of dental care, you will need to do more than just treat the pain. The application of an oral anesthetic is a first step. Applying an antiseptic of some kind will help to prevent infection. In extreme cases where no follow-on dental care is possible, you may need to use a temporary tooth filling material. Without cleaning out the infection and sanitizing the tooth, you're really only sealing the damage inside. An exposed area of a tooth with a sealed-in, unsanitized portion will lead to an infection that will require root canal treatment, something that just really isn't possible to do on your own. I'll link to all the products that I discuss in the comments section below. Suppose none of the materials specifically designed for treating emergency oral issues are available to you. In that case, you will need to apply a natural remedy for pain. A natural antibiotic or antiseptic and wax or petroleum jelly frequently applied to seal off the damaged area of the tooth. I will cover natural remedies in a moment. Chipped or broken teeth. A fall, debris impacting your mouth, or any blunt force trauma to the mouth can result in injuries to teeth ranging from loosening and bruising to cracks to avulsed teeth or having them completely knocked out. A chipped, broken tooth can be painful, which exposes a virgin area of a tooth which can quickly become infected. Treat these injuries as you would with the loss of a filling or crown, but pay more attention to the antiseptic treatment of the area. The pain will likely persist until the nerve endings die off, but this may take a while. There are three layers of a tooth, the enamel, the middle layer called the dentine, and the pulp. Injuries that occur in close proximity to the pulp, where the nerve resides, will continue to hurt until the nerve dies off from lack of blood flow. 
This stop in the blood supply can occur within a few minutes or sometimes can take months, depending upon the injury. If there is no exposed pulp, your treatment options are the same as for a loss filling or crown. More attention needs to be focused on keeping the area infection free. Extraction may be required for eventual relief. Knocked out teeth. If a knocked out tooth can be put back in by a professional within 30 minutes, it might be saved. After 30 minutes, your body will treat the tooth as a foreign material and not accept it. If a dental professional is not an option, only handle the tooth by the crown. Gently wash off any debris from the roots with milk or clean water if necessary and place the tooth back into the socket. You can also set the loose tooth between your cheek and gum. Milk contains certain substances that help the tooth stay alive, including sugars that the cells need to survive, proteins to maintain the right balance of acids, and antibacterial agents. Gently biting on sterile gauze will slow bleeding and hold the tooth in place. A tooth inserted in this manner will force you into a nearly liquid diet, which is inoptimal after a disaster. It will require that you frequently gently rinse with an antibacterial wash, change gauze frequently even after any bleeding stops, and it will take a minimum of three weeks to reattach. In some instances where the disaster aftermath is too great and no end is in sight, reattaching the tooth may not be a viable solution. In this case, treat the tooth wound as you would any oral injury to prevent infection and encourage healing. The hope here is that the infection can be staved off and the gums will grow over and seal the wound. Caring for teeth. Toothpaste. Preventative dental care is key to keeping your teeth healthy. You need to expand beyond a tube of toothpaste and a cheap toothbrush in your prepping supplies. There's an excellent chance you could be cut off from your supplies in a disaster and knowing alternate possibilities for oral care will be critical for you. Baking soda can be used to brush teeth if no toothpaste is available, but it is slightly more abrasive than toothpaste. You'll want to use a gentler pressure. One alternative is fine wood ash. It may seem counterintuitive to put black ash on your teeth, but wood ash binds to carbon and can remove stains. Wood ash contains potassium hydroxide or lye, so it cleans, but it can damage teeth due to abrasiveness and the hardness of lye. Still, if you mix a slight amount of powdery wood ash from softwoods with a bit of baking soda, it will create toothpaste that can be rubbed on teeth with a finger or soft cloth. Rinse thoroughly, and you'll be amazed at how clean and fresh your mouth will feel. Gargling and rinsing the mouth out with a mixture of baking soda, salt, and water will contain oral microflora, providing a marginal decrease in harmful bacteria like streptococci and morcella species and alter mouth pH. Sodium bicarbonate oral rinse may be considered a cheap and effective alternative for alcohol-based mouthwash, especially where prolonged duration usage is required. To make this concoction, you need about 1 4 teaspoon baking soda, 1 8 teaspoon salt, and warm or room temperature water. This is the same natural mouthwash and rinse you'll want to use when treating mouth wounds. Gently swish the water through the mouth for a few seconds, then expel it. Repeat every five minutes for bleeding wounds, and less frequently for general wounds. Do you know how the dentist is always telling you to floss more? Well, chances are you aren't flossing, and guess what? You should be. Especially after a disaster, though the range of foods might lead to some of it getting stuck in your teeth. Over a short amount of time, the food can decay and cause bacterial infections and widen and expose teeth cavities. There are many uses for dental floss in an emergency, so you should probably have some array in your prepping supplies. If you don't, you'll definitely want some in your dental care kit. Brush picks will also be handy for removing food particles around and between teeth. If no toothbrush is available, you can use a clean finger or microfiber cloth. When using a microfiber cloth, you should be as gentle as possible, but it will be very effective when combined with a gentle abrasive toothpaste concoction. Filling your kit. The nice thing about an emergency dental kit is that it's so compact. It can be contained in a small container and will easily fit into a pocket of a jacket or a backpack. Your kit should include toothpaste in either a tube, tablet, or powder form. I prefer toothpaste powder for my emergency case, as the shelf life for toothpaste is about two years before it starts to change color, flavor, or lose effectiveness. A bentonite clay compound, however, will last for many years. After further research, if you decide to make your own, make sure to use a food grade bentonite compound, as non food grade may contain high levels of aluminum. Again, I'll link to an option in the comments below. Beyond toothpaste, you'll need a toothbrush, baking soda, and salt for a rinse, dental floss, and a pick. These are essentials for maintaining your teeth. You should also build out your emergency kit to include these items for more traumatic injuries. Nitrile gloves. If you need to work in your mouth for any period of time and there are open wounds, 
Sterile gloves will prevent exposing the wounds to harmful contaminants or bacteria. Nitro gloves are preferred over latex as some people have latex allergies. Dental mirror and pen light. It can be hard to see in your mouth or in the back areas of other people's mouths. A dental mirror and a small pen light can provide you with a line of sight you need to do a thorough job. Dental mirrors are very inexpensive and your pen light doesn't have to be overly bright. One that is designed for medical use will provide you just enough light and it will also let you diagnose people with to determine other medical traumas to the head. Dental tools. While you don't want to give teeth cleaning because of the risk of injury, having a small kit of dental tools can help you surgically extract shrapnel in the mouth and clean wound areas. Because of their compact size, affordability, and other practical uses, having a basic dental toolkit in your inventory is a good idea. Be sure to clean these thoroughly by boiling and dousing with alcohol or heating in an open flame before inserting them into your mouth. Sterile Suture Kit Hopefully you'll never have to suture a large wound of the mouth. Fortunately, the mouth heals itself faster than other parts of the body, but a deep and profusely bleeding wound may require suturing. Having a sterile mixed suture kit will allow you to address both wounds of the mouth and the rest of the body. For the less traumatic injuries, but sometimes just as painful, you'll want to have the following in your kit. Clove oil. Clove oil contains the active ingredient eugenol, which is a natural anesthetic. It helps numb and reduce pain to ease a toothache. Eugenol has natural anti-inflammatory properties. Used straight, it can irritate, so it's best mixed with a neutral oil like coconut oil as part of a rinse. The oil can be directly applied to the enamel of the tooth. Clove oil has some antibacterial properties. Special diluted and pre-formulated combinations made especially for toothaches are available. Clove oil is a global standard of dental pain relief and antiseptic treatment of an area. If you pass on the other natural remedies I mentioned, don't pass on getting this one in your inventory. Peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is potent, so it has to be diluted before direct application. But in a mixture of 30% peppermint oil, it can reduce pain and increase healing blood flow. Tea tree oil. Diluted tea tree oil can be used as part of an oil rinse. It is an effective oil with a broad spectrum antimicrobial, antifungal, antiviral, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory properties. Tea tree should not be used for internal use other than a mouthwash or toothpaste. You must spit it out after use and rinse with water. Benzocaine. An oral antiseptic like benzocaine can be very effective. Temporary remedy for oral pain. Though most containers are less than a half an ounce, when you need to use it, you'll be glad to have this tiny potent medication in your emergency dental care kit. Cotton gauze, cotton swabs, and balls or pads. For soaking up blood, preventing contamination of open wounds, gently holding injured teeth in place, or creating a consistently medicated and sterile area, you will want cotton gauze, cotton swabs, and cotton balls or pads. Medications can be directly applied to teeth, or cotton ball or pad can be soaked in medicine and placed over on the sides surrounding the tooth. Medication can be directly applied to teeth, or a cotton ball or pad can be soaked in medicine and placed over and on the side surrounding a tooth. Gauze can be packed into an area and will be more effective than cotton balls to isolate an area in a sterile medium. Orthodontic Wax A small piece of orthodontic wax can be placed in a cleaned and treated chip or a fracture line to prevent infection and keep the area clean. If you're desperate and no dental wax is available, candle wax can be used as well. Barring these options, Vaseline can be used frequently because it is a mixture of various non-polar hydrophobic hydrocarbons and is insoluble in water. Dentin Repair Kit When there is no emergency care on the horizon, you may need to use dental cement to hold you over as long as you can. Eventually, you will need a permanent solution, but dental cement, filling repair, and cap and crown repair cement kits can cover the majority of minor teeth cracks, fractures, and lost dental work. More permanent dental repair compounds are affordable, but self-repairing teeth is not easy. You'll want to use the fine dental tools when adding these compounds to your emergency dental kit. Dental caps. Crowns of many shapes and sizes are available in packets of 100. This is not a permanent solution by any means, but when combined with a denture adhesive cream, can put a sheath over a tooth until a proper dental care can be obtained. Fitted mouth guard. A soft, gel-fitted mouth guard can help keep teeth that have been misaligned back into proper form. A small amount of medication applied to the trough can create a more aseptic environment and continual small dose of medication to the upper or lower teeth. Medical book. I suggest that the prepper who wants to take this seriously as possible acquire the book Where There Is No Dentist by Murray Dickinson. 
This book will provide you with what you need to know from most dental procedures where there is no dental care available at all. Extreme Equipment If you're certain that the disaster will not pass and that future professional dental attention is impossible, you will need a dental extraction kit and dental irrigation syringes. Extracting a tooth without a properly trained professional dentist is only for extreme survival situations, and every other option should be explored before this one. You may recall, though, from the Hollywood blockbuster movie Castaway with Tom Hanks, that tooth extraction may be essential to survival, and having the right tool for this process will make it easier and more efficient. Basic Essentials You'll also want some of these essential items you likely already have as part of your emergency kit. Alcohol prep kits, hydrogen peroxide, Tylenol, and ibuprofen. Natural Remedies If you like traditional medicines, there are some effective natural medicines you can use. I already mentioned some of the practical oils you should consider, clove, peppermint, and tree oils. Native Americans and other traditional healers have used echinacea for hundreds of years to treat infections and wounds. The plant can be chewed in a poultice held in the mouth on the damaged area. Kaffir lime leaves can be chewed and held in the mouth to reduce bacteria. A garlic paste can be made from a smashed clove and will also have potent antibacterial qualities. Cloves, as I mentioned earlier, were often inserted into the tooth cavities because of their numbing effects. If you have no oil, applying clove powder will have some similar but lesser effects. Ginger root is also recognized as having some natural antibiotic effect. It is also used to treat nausea, which is a frequent side effect of dental pain. Hopefully you'll never be entirely without dental care for too long of a period because one dental problem can easily become a debilitating emergency. The reality is though that a disaster can result in blunt force trauma to the teeth. Everyday use of teeth in a post-disaster environment with a post-disaster diet may result in damage to teeth or gums. Take a multi-step approach to your emergency dental care. First, make sure that you are continuing regular care of your teeth. Second, make sure you have the tools you need for minor tooth problems and repairs. And even though I hope you never need to have them, knowing how to and having the tools to extract teeth can be a lifesaver. If it is weeks or months before you receive professional dental care, you have to know how to temporarily treat your own teeth. Everything I mentioned for a complete kit can be obtained for under $100 and will take up a very small amount of space. So building out an emergency dental kit is as essential as building out your first aid kit. Dental pain or damage can reduce your odds of survival in an instant. What is the worst dental pain you've ever experienced? Could you have survived the pain in a grid down disaster? Tell us in the comments below. I read many of the comments and respond to them when I can and that's typically within the first hour of releasing a video. If you found this video informative and helpful, please click the thumbs up icon. It's a little thing, but it helps us build our prepping community. I can notify you when other videos become available if you subscribe to this channel. As always, stay safe out there.